Hello, folks. Hope you're all having a wonderful evening. How's everyone doing? Oh. Scale of one to ten. How scared is everyone to fight Eri today? Uh, seven. I'm at like a solid twelve. Twelve? Yeah. I I I'm feeling confident enough. I think our teams are we we done our homework our teams are leveled up we took care of the titan pretty easily well we'll, we'll see we'll I'm see i'm sorry cupid we were gonna start at six and then my food came late and i was still eating a sandwich and wanted time to finish my sandwich sandwich i'm sorry I wanted to eat my club sandwich. Oh, we get, we get an encounter. Yes, we do. That is correct. Uh, I was about to where? do a terror raid, but then it was like, wait a second. Hold on a minute. Hold yeah. on. Uh, Before I do that. You know what? I'm going to risk it. I'm going to go for an ice, ice one. I normally eat food on stream cupid but it makes me feel gross every time i do it because i know some people really get icked out by oh yeah the sound of like eating myself I'm included those... me as well i'm one of those people who's like i hate the sound of chewing so i'm like i i Just... i couldn't do that i couldn't do that to people can't stand it um you're going for an ice one you said yeah, I might like I might as well. There's a nice one here. There's a dragon one right next to it. Who knows what I'm gonna get? I'm just trying to think of what I need for like the elite four. Like what I'm lacking. I just want a cool ice type because I am. Uh, ooh, I love me my ice types. Um, what types do I just not have? Maybe that's the question I should be asking. I only have one good grass type. I only have small I mantis. I have plenty of those. Another grass type might not be bad. Um. Oh yeah, I got Luxalil, Mishmish, I only and... Have, I only have one fire type, but that fire type is FIRE! <laughs> like, yeah, you're, you're half Sedge is fast. not gonna fucking die, let's be real. No. Um, no. Unless we get into some real sticky situations. Uh, ice wouldn't be bad either because I only have crab apple for that. Uh, I could go for another fighting type. That could be good. Yeah, the fighting type would be nice. Unf Especially if it gets steel. Right. Oh, but I have Hacks Edge for that. Never mind. Um, yeah, you do. I've got a fairy type to deal with dragons. I don't have a good. I need something to deal with ground. That's what I need, I actually. Plenty of dragon <laughs> counters. Ground, uh, you're looking for water? I, uh, I want grass. a water or grass type. That's what I'm looking for. Water type or grass type? I had, like, at one point, I had, like, an abundance of fucking grass types, and they're all dead. <laughs> Yeah, meanwhile, I'm sitting over here with three of them. Okay, so I yeah, want a water or a grass type. You want a grass type, an ice type, or a water type, because those are all super effective. Let's, let's try for grass. Let's go to this one near the desert. I mean, there's no guarantee that it will be a grass type, but we're hoping. True. Oh, it's cute seeing a little wingle, wingle in the wild. Just a little guy. He's just vibing on the grass. Holly, oh my gosh. If you're going to be on my lap, you got to chill. Into you rambunctious bitch. Into the desert. Off all the birds. Oh, yeah, that's right. Okay. 
I am in front of my my crystal. I am as well. Ready? Okay. And go. What the hell is this? God. Okay. Well, I did want a water type or a grass type. What is this? I can't tell. I, I don't think let I've me, ever fought me, one of these. Let me see. Let me look at your stream. Who's that Pokemon? Who's that Pokemon? It's... Give me a bit. Give me a bit. Hang on. Hang on. I'm still scrolling. Just give me... Give me a second. Give me a second. Give me a second. I'm trying to. I can't tell. <laughs> oh, that's a uh, um um uh what what the fuck is it called? It's the weird poison normal monkey dude from this gen. Oh, okay. Yeah, uh, it'll do, giraffe, I guess. Giraffe or whatever. Gir Gira All right. I got a Lola Mola. Which I'm a little disappointed by. I mean, yeah, water type's a water type. Yeah, I mean, I'll take it, but... Was hoping well, if for... we... fail, then it's a reroll. I was hoping for something a little bit better. Mine is also a four star. Yeah. we doing today though friends how's everyone i uh talked about it a bit but i've started my new job this week how's going that going wonderfully currently i don't really have like a room that they put me in yet it's just like oh yeah we'll kind of toss you between the two rooms for staff and decide which room that you'd be best in. This room is open. So. That's been kind of fun. I mean, hey. That, that tends to be how new jobs are. Yeah. I mean, it is nice that they kind of want to, like, see where. It's both they want to see where I work best with and also like, take my preferences into consideration. Right. Which is really nice. Ugh, don't use your right dance. Fuck you. I'm trying to burn you to death. Don't use your right dance. Does rain cure burn? No, but, like, I'm, I'm trying to, like, use fire. Not, not actually burn. My bad. Temporarily forgot that burn is an actual Pokemon condition. Rastalize your Pokemon to stop a little mole. Don't mind if I fucking do. To be honest, speaking of the uh, status effects, how often do you see? Frozen occur. Okay, so <laughs> never in later gens. However, yeah, I I did a stream, uh, and I have a clip for it. And I just like to carry out to see it. I did a stream um, because I want to go through and replay the gym leader castle in Pokemon Stadium Two. That was like a big game of my childhood. I never beat the Gym Leader Castle. Uh huh. So I'm trying to beat it using only rental Pokemon. Which is also oh. just very difficult. Sounds like it. That sounds hard. Um. So, that's been fun. But, I was playing it. And I had like. Pokemon used Ice Punch on me and got frozen. And I was like, okay, whatever. Like, it was a fucking snubble against, like, my Steelix. 
Uh huh. So it's like, okay, it's not like this thing's gonna really do a lot of damage to me. Um, so I'll, I, instead of swapping, I'll just keep Felix in. I finally thought out after like five turns, only to immediately get frozen by Hunch Punch again. <laughs> and I made a joke about it when it happened of like, you know, me being like, ah, oh, fucking finally. And then saying, as the thing came out, like, Snubble is using an ice punch. Whoa. I'm like, just wait, I'm gonna get frozen again. And then immediately I got frozen. And I was like, I was fucking joking. It's such a rare status effect. It almost never <laughs> happens. And yet, twice. Um, yeah, what, immediately yet. after another. <laughs> Yeah, I think most most freezing moves have like a 10% chance, but that feels more like a fucking 2% chance. Uh, I managed to knock down a little bit, by the way. I got, I got mine as well. Okay. Blow my balls. Yeah, mine was pretty easy. It was just instant. <laughs> Use flamethrower. Done. Yeah, mine was a similar strategy of use bitter blade. Done. It's normal. Interesting. Yeah. But I got those experience candies I want, so yay. But yeah, new job is going quite well. Um, it's been nice having, you know, mm -hmm. management who's been regularly checking up and being like, hey, how's, how are you enjoying things so far? Like, you know. Rather than just kind of ignoring you guys and doing whatever. Yeah, and I'm like, oh, that's actually nice. You guys are involved and seem to care. Weird. So, given the names, I'm thinking Granola. Granola. <laughs> oh, whoops. I don't know why it's in all caps. I don't mean to do that, but I love Granola. Granola. So it, it just kind of fits. You just have to swap an M for an N. Yeah. I like it. We're going to send you to the box for now. It's a poison type. It's not going to help me right now. Yep. I know. It's have a poison three normal poison. type too, isn't it? So. Yeah. <laughs> so I, detriment. Man, I'm just becoming so aware of how. Little I know, Alola Mola stats. Is it just like a health tank or something? Its stats aren't great. <laughs> just in general. Just in general? <laughs> Alright. Well, I saw 200 on the HP, so. Yeah, it is, it is a health tank, so. Yeah. That's, that's good, at least. At the very least, we can say you have a sacrificial pawn yeah. for healing. Okay, let's pop these candies into Spooper. Ah, oh, Spooper wants to learn Psychic! Fuck yeah! You absolutely that's can learn good. Psychic. I need Hackset to learn Dragon Claw and soon. Or I need to find a Dragon Claw TM somewhere. Hi, Shooty. Why are you screaming? It's a lot of A's. Still fucking swear that one of these days. If it hasn't already happened, it's going to happen where I see a shiny Pokemon in this game and don't realize mm -hmm. it's a shiny and just pass right by it. 
Oh, it's bound to happen at some point. Then I just cry. Forever. Fucking Caps Kid, I don't want to do that. Oh, spy. I'm right here. Screaming. That's valid. You're spine. I've been like, because I work in an all preschool now, whereas before I worked in like, I worked with school age children. And I have right. specifically like, it, I'm between two year olds and four year olds. Ah. Yeah, that's, uh... So, you know... Yeah, there can't... <laughs> a lot of can't do much or want to do it all. Yeah, exactly. So, it's been really fun day in, day out. Of exactly that. Of, yes, I can't do anything for myself, and I'm going to do everything for myself all at once. Yeah. But I've also had, you know, kids are already starting to get comfortable around me, which is great. Um, uh huh. And especially like, like two-year-olds, they don't give a shit. Like they love you if you even give them the slightest bit of attention. Right. So I had one kid who ran up behind me yesterday and wrapped his arms around me and like kind of jumped onto my back and shoulder. Uh-huh. Which sounds really cute. Right. However, I did not know if he was going to do that. Yeah. And so I, I meant it came at quite as a surprise. Came as quite a surprise and was just like, aha, I'm old, this is pain. Immediate back pain. Yeah, I know I say this is a pretty young 20 something, but it just was like, oh, oh god. Oh, believe me, I feel you there. I'm 25, and I already feel like I'm in my 40s. Yeah, yeah, no, I'm, I'm 25 like, too, so I get it. It definitely feels like the moment you break, uh, <laughs> like, 23, everything just starts hurting. Yeah, yeah. You say, as the person who's literally turning 57 next month is in your chat and modding. Damn. Look, if, if it helps, I'm old too. I'm turning 26 in a few months. Bleach. That's how old I am. Old and decrepit. Balderdash. The fucked up thing Bobby about YouTuber Cock. spheres, though, is that, like, to a lot of people, yeah, I'm super old. Oh, yeah. That's. That's honestly something that I've seen a lot of, but then I think of, um, like, I think of the Game Grumps. Yeah. Aaron's, what, in his late 30s, maybe early 40s. Dan is, like, 45. Yeah. And they're still doing that? Like, no, you got, we got time. We got time. Yeah, exactly. Apple of choice or age in some chains. Stop making me feel bad. I'm, I'm doing joke shoot. But I'm not lying. That is a thing in VTuber Spears. Like, I have seen, like, fucking d drop your, like, Twitch links and stuff. Uh huh. But then the caveat of, like, you must be, like, 18 or older. Uh, no, that, that, that is, I can understand. Um, right. But no, like, I've seen, you have to be under 25. Jeez. And I'm like, I have so many VTuber friends that are like, 
in their late 30s, early 40s. <laughs> And 25 is very young. Yeah. Fine. Okay, there's the gate. Thank you for showing me where the gate is. Okay. I'm, I'm like over here. Oh, sorry. I'm just like, I'm like over here running around around the fighting squad base looking for the gate. <laughs> so I have no clue where it is. Okay, I am leveled up spooper, so now I'm ready to go and take on Eri whenever, even though I'm scared. Excellent. I am also scared. But I'm over here making my way to that location. Yep, I'm gonna have my way there. Curiosity, this grass terra crystal that's right here. What would that have been? I mean, Shooty, I'm confident there's there's VTubers there that are, like, way older than we think they are. Oh, yeah. Like, that's part of the wild thing about VTubing is that you, you have a model. Yeah. <clears throat> no one can know. Anonymity is great. Yeah, no one can know shit about you unless you want them to know shit about you, really. <laughs> if it wasn't for, you know, the few pictures I've posted of myself that prove otherwise, I could easily just say I'm fucking 25 and actually be 60. You have no idea. <laughs> Absolutely. It'd be impressive if I had a voice this high at 60, but who knows? It's possible. I've also seen plenty of other streamers who are, like, openly older. Yeah. Gosh, that just makes me think of, what if the, you know about the Skyrim grandma, right? Yes. Oh my god, what I love her. What if she fucking screamed? What if, like, what if she streamed? I would watch her. Can you just constantly. imagine that? I would watch her constantly. I support Skyrim Grandma so much. I hope the next game comes out. Comes out. I hope it comes so out she before can her. It. Like, because I know that was a genuine like thing she said. Of like, she doesn't oh know if she'll still be around. To see the next Elder Scrolls game. And I'm like, I hope you are. I really do. Me I too. want nothing but the best for you, Skyrim Grandma. Me too. For those who aren't aware of Shirley Curry, go and do yourselves a favor. She's delightful, genuinely. I'm going the wrong way. I don't know which way to go. Uh, just climb over it. Climb over everything. <laughs> Apple, so I'm gonna tell everything. you something I just realized. It has to do with my stream today. Go on, keep it. Fire away. Just this pack of go go. You're so lucky. I love the combination of like punk ass makeup that she's got, plus that really kind of like dress look yeah. her outfit has. No, I love her aesthetic. Like, straight up. I think her aesthetic's great.
I'm just battling the gate guard right now. I think you're almost there. This guy pinned my stream, followed, asked where I lived, asked if he could know what my username is on Discord, and I followed after I told him that it was a private duel between me and Squid. So some was just trying to fucking like... Yeah. Get information about you? That's really creepy. Even if it was an IRL streamer, I think just the question of where do you live is something that you shouldn't ever ask someone. <laughs> yeah. Unless Unsolicited it's... where do you live is weird. Like, that's really weird and fucked up. <laughs> I don't want people to know where I live. Anytime someone asks me that question, I'm as vague as to say Canada. <laughs> yeah. And that's all people need to know. That I'm Canadian. It's Canada. Okay. Alright, primate. Where the fuck am I going? I think you oh yeah, you're going in the right direction. Okay. Yeah, it was vague with America. Guy told me. Real name. That's okay, even more that's... sus. If someone, especially as a VTuber, Dad. if someone just comes and drops their real name in my chat, I'm like, no, that's a red flag. Mm, yeah. <laughs> that's, uh, maybe, maybe don't come back. I've gotten to the point where I know a lot of my VTuber's friends' actual names, but, like, right. I don't... Go out of your way to share that information. Yeah, and I also, like, again, just unprompted, wouldn't be like, hey, this is my real name. I think I've been, I've given hints to it on stream. I think I've maybe said what letter it starts with, which I will not repeat, but <laughs> if there's a super fan out there who has watched every single one of my streams, you might know that information. Your real name is Sans Undertale Deltarune. Fuck! Cupid, how could you expose me like this? Sans Undertale Deltarune. <laughs> Okay, I'm approaching the, the thing. God, I love her. I love her aesthetic. A dot pipple. Yeah, that's rude. What the A stands for, we have yet to figure out. Let's peel it off before we go in there. I should lead with. I feel like I should lead with. Hmm. I love that they call her Riri. That's so cute. Riri. Uh, I love that. And how she just wants to protect everyone. God, I love her. Do I have any other... Well, I'm gonna check my moves real quick while you're doing that. Okay. See if I've got any more flying-type moves that I can teach to Jiggler. I did not check who was in the lead. Before this. Oh, it's half 10 a. That's not good against the Krogan. It's not that bad, but... I mean, Poison Strong against Fairy. Okay, okay. Let's just swap the scooper. Oh, I'm 
man. This is giving me fucking flashbacks to chunks. He was the grump pig I used in my first ever Nuzlocke of X and Y. Oh, nice. Oh my gosh. Okay, that reminds me. Um, I told you I started a randomizer. Uh, a randomized file of Soul Silver. Mm -hmm. So, right out of the gate, we kind of were off to a pretty good start. Because the starters it gave me were... Uh, the first one I checked was a Reggie Ice. The second one I checked was a, a Plusle. But the third one was a goddamn Flygon. Oh, damn! Literally yeah. favorite. So, so I flipped, uh, <laughs> like, that, because that is a 1 in 493 chance, as I found out. Yeah. So, I grabbed him. Mm -hmm. I grabbed the Flygon. Some of the first things I run into is, in the very first area, the grass is full of Palkias. Oh, no. Yeah. So I'm I'm not running into like any dragon moves. Uh the flygon which I named Lucky is still alive. Cuz of the goddamn luck of getting that. But it has made it hard catching things because it's smacking everything. Sorry, I've got to interrupt. I love the fact that by the fucking Team Star base, there's just a bunch of phalanx. Yeah. Which are like, you know, the marching war Pokemon. The freaking <laughs> lads. I love that. Also a couple pin words. Alright, I'm ready to challenge. Okay, I'm ready to go in there and start beating bitches up. Pokix, go away. Ah! Phalanx! No! Well, yes, Cupid, if you- if you read it like that, that- that's fair. I just think Riri is a cute nickname. And I'm always a big fan of cute nicknames. If someone gives me a cute nickname, I will love them forever. Happy. Happy, yeah. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's beat up some bitches. Let's go. Hello, for you're up first. Want my Pokemon to deal with y'all. Send out first. Uh, Toxic Rope. Okay. That's probably shouldn't leave with my fairy type. Probably not. Mm. I'm surprised Flamigo is a fighting type. I kind of. I love the fact that it is, though, especially because its wing is like a little boxing. Long. Is it? I haven't yeah. got a good look at it. No, when I saw it, I thought it was just a fucking flamingo. What? No, it's 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 wings, a cute little boxing glove. It's actually really adorable. Oh my gosh, it is. Oh my gosh. We're whooping ass. I forgot how much. Every time we do this, I forget how much I hate it. Oh, doing this, the the squad battles? Yeah, I'm like, yep. it's just slow, and I either. don't like it. I would it's much rather twist. go in and just, like... Just give me a gym. Yeah. Another type of gym. Another gym, or, like, you know, fucking... Something different. <laughs> I don't know. Oh my god, I can't even send my Pokemon. Fucking stop. Mm. 
Yeah, I got them all. You're struggling with a husky? What does that mean? I imagine Pikmin would struggle with a husky. They're very small, and huskies are large. <laughs> what do you want? Oh, you snuggling! Oh, I read that as struggling. My bad. It's because we're about to struggle in this battle. I'm getting myself preemptively prepared. Um. Struggle is on the brain. Yeah. No, I definitely, I definitely read that as struggle. My be. Uh. Huskies are cute, though. I love huskies. I don't know. I thought you either you had a pet husky and they were just weren't behaving, or you were playing Nintendo Dogs and you just couldn't get that husky to fucking perform well in the competition. And I'm like, bro, I get it. They are hyperactive little ones. <laughs> I had a neighbor, or a, a friend, who was on the same block who had a husky. And that thing I forgot was that it throws you right into the fight. And oh, did you need to heal? No, I I I did my healing, that's fine. But Leading have, with fairy type again? Yeah, I'm leading with my wiggly club. Which is great. Alright, let's check these uh, moves. What do we got? Poison jab, brick bake, sucker punch. Oh, Sucker Punch is gonna make it so I don't even wanna fucking send out my Grum Pig either. Oh, yeah. Well, at least that's, that one can only be used five times. Yeah. Oh, huh. Alright, Toxic Rogue. Let's switch out really yes. quick. Um, I mean, I Who's could go that? for Starco, but I, I kinda wanna save Starco for later in the fight. Yeah, What's fighting type weak against again? Um, flying. Uh, and psychic. And, and psychic. fairy. Okay. Jesus, why did that do so much? Spooper, uh, you're supposed to be my tanky boy. You gotta be my be my big tank boy, because if you're not, no one else is. Okay. You can take it, Jiggler. I'm gonna heal up and just hope that she uses Sucker Punch or something. Who's up next? Persimian is next. Okay, she's, Which? she's doing Sucker Punch, so she's anticipating me attacking, which is fair. Okay, that does about the same poison jab did. The only thing I'm worried about. Yeah. The biggest thing I'm worried about is uh, Simeon and Annihilate both have close combat. Okay, no. Ha a 10 A should be able to take it. Oh, I didn't even see what she was going to send out. Shit. Oh, Lucario. Oh, no. Okay. What moves does her Lucario all have? Uh, Dragon Pulse, Aura, Sphere, and Dark Pulse. Dark Pulse. So it also moves. knows a dark move. It was Aura, Sphere, Dark Pulse, and what was the last one? Uh, Dragon Pulse. Okay, we'll send in Just for the health back. <laughs> Yeah, for some reason, the, the Pokemon only know three moves, Pikmin. Yeah, some of her Pokemon only know three. The Annihilate and the Starmobile know four. Jesus, Aura Sphere did three more than I But Flamethrower, oh. solid. Oh, the Ghost type. And the Annihilate's up next. Okay. We're still at the broken Are you? Okay, Fairy has no conniptions about 
Uh, ghost types. Stop with these aura spheres. Quit it. I don't like it. Now yeah, let's do it. Terrestalize. Take another one. Oh fuck! No, no. What happened? Jiggler is dead. No, no. The streak is broken. That was... I, I would have survived it if it wasn't a crit. Oh, was it a crit? It was a crit or a sphere. Oh no. Oh no, this is the breaking of our beautiful no loss streak. Yep. Oh, that feels bad. What's faster? Cerule Edge or Lucario? Oh, I don't know. I don't know what her her Lucario stats are, but they tend to have. Where is it? Give me stats. I was gonna rely on Jiggler really heavily for a lot of this. This is that's really bad. Lucario is a no really fast. Yes, Lucario is a fast boy. I can try Hatene, but I'm worried Hatene is not going to live ahead. <laughs> what I want to know are average space stats. Um, yeah, Lucario's got a base speed of 90. So it could be anywhere between 85 and 156. Edge's speed is 123, but that's not a risk I'm going to take. Oh, Genie! You know, we're doing a Nuzlocke. Uh, Jiggler died just moments before you came in. Things are going great. You know. Jiggler, the Wigglytuff, and my uh, Pelipper. Oh, fuck you. Okay, Lucario's down. I'm on to her rev of room. Okay, Cassimian. What does Cassimian have? Uh, Seed Bomb. Close Combat, I think. No. Seed Bomb. Yeah, Seed Bomb, Close Combat, Rock Tomb. What a weird combo. Okay, we'll go back to Spoon. <laughs> Am I faster? I'm so upset about Jiggler's right. guys. I don't like Wigglytuff that oh, much. Oh, that's right. But she was she was our fairy queen. I have to switch out. Hatene is gonna die if I don't. Okay, I'm gonna heal up. Super. What am I thinking here? Uh, but. Swapita, why not? Nothing Get should in be here. more than close combat, even though close combat's not very effective. Swapita out right here, spin out. So there's a free game on Epic next week that I'm interested in. Okay. What game? Do tell. Yeah. Fuck it. Simeon is dead. Okay, Swabita's got the Starmobile. Oh, yeah. Okay. Annihilate. What does Annihilate have? Rage Fist, Close Combat, Ice Punch, and Fire Punch. Okay. 
I have defeated Aaron. The Annihilate was pretty tough. Except Nuzzle, probably. Uh, <laughs> if you want to risk it, I'd say so. No, I'd just go see go how much damage dazzling. you can get off. Yeah, just see how much damage you can get off right oh, away. Oh, that's half health. Oh, okay. Close combat didn't deer. Only got to half as well. Okay. It, and Rocky Helmet, is, bitch! Every time you hit me, you take damage. <laughs> what's great is you're also faster than it. Yeah. No. Uh, I mean, Pikachu clones. Fast as fuck. I'm gonna heal the well. Because no matter what it hits me with, it's gonna take damage from my Rocky Helmet. <laughs> right. Every... Everything the... Starmobile has is uh, physical. Mm. Hey, Rage um, Fist did a lot more. Don't like that. It will not, it cannot be paralyzed, though. Okay. It's immune. At least by electric moves, that's all I know. Get fucked, bitch. Don't punch this little mouse that has a hat on. He has his little hat, his little Rocky helmet. Okay. What does this Reverie have? What do I know it took to be Um, combat torque, spin out, which is steel, uh -huh. steel type move, uh, shift gear, also steel, and high horsepower, which is ground. Okay. Then probably this is where we pull out the big guns. Yeah. It is pure fighting type. Actually, you know what? It has the ability of stamina. You know what? Oh no, high horsepower, never mind. Okay. Yeah, ground type. They'll probably be using high horsepower, so Starco should be able to just get a free. And lower the attack stat. Apple Smasher past the Starmobiles. I don't give a rat's ass about cars, so no. <laughs> Same. Not. I have never in my entire fucking life, because you know how some people will describe cars as sexy? Yeah. I have never in my entire life seen a car and been like, yeah, that's nice looking, even. I, I mean, just, I don't I, give a shit. I can always appreciate, like, a cool design or something like that. I just could give two less of a shits about what it is. Yeah, okay, that's fair. Um, there was uh, a pink car covered in donut sprinkles to advertise a local donut business in my city. Uh, but that's a pretty nice car. <laughs> That's pretty nice. <laughs> that's, that's, that about, that's about where the extent of my everything 
goes. There is this uh, window painter uh, that I saw who had a van. Mm. This van was... I want to say I don't... It was like a muddy gold. Almost like a bronze. Uh, but all over it, it had like... Shift gear makes me so nervous. I want to do something to get rid of all those stats so bad. Oh, jeez. Yeah. Uh, I... It had like prosthetics. Like weird masks and whatnot all fused to it so its entire body looked like a whole bunch of weird hodgepodge of all sorts of like masks and weirdness it's like wow it was probably the most unique van i had ever seen we got a lot of people around my city who make weird cars shift here moves are just going to keep hitting harder and harder and harder. And I need to be able to kill this thing. I think Starco can still live one more. Think Starco can take it? I think. I'm really fucking hoping. Otherwise, I'm going to be really sad. Oh, fuck. This is like its third shift here. This is really bad. Is it doing it again? Yeah. It, it's setting the fuck up. And because its defense rises and shit every time as well. Oh god, yeah. You're just stuck in a loop, aren't you? Yeah, and it's way... Like, it's gonna outspeed me no matter what. Oh no. If I can... Um Swap to swap Vita and use Parish Song and find some way to just stall it out. I mean, if you want to do that, I don't mind losing Swabita. That's the only thing I can think to do. At this point, I don't blame you. Does Parish Song work on bosses? I don't know why it wouldn't. Oh yeah, that is a uh, that is something to think about. But like, okay, what's its move set? Combat torque, spin out, shift gear, high horsepower. Everything it's every co every attack is physical. It's probably gonna use combat torque, so I have a free swap to Hacks Edge if that's the case. This hack set won't get hit by it. Because that's a fighting move, right? Right. Um. Uh. And then I could try using Bitter Blade, but if it hits me, like, hack set is probably dead. Is my word. Right. If it, go, if it hits you with a high horsepower. Yeah, because it's way faster than me. Yeah, that's, and that's doom. It, okay, I lowered its attack stat by one just from intimidate mm -hmm. but then it raised it three times so it's at least double it's at plus two i don't know what the fuck to do uh... I don't know if I just keep the Starco and do another Aerial Ace and pray that I can live it. How low is the health? Do you think you could? Do you think they could take it? It's not gonna do kill. Think... It's absolutely not gonna kill. Okay. That much is guaranteed. Oh yeah, if only you had mist. Yeah, or haze or haze. I think Starco can probably. Mm, I don't know. I don't know. I'm really scared. Is I don't Starco know what to do. Is... Well, okay, so you have no risk of that high horsepower hitting you because it's a ground type move right now. 
Yeah. Spin out is a steel type. It's the only thing that will possibly hit you. Let's see what its power is. It has a 100 power. Jesus. Uh, it can only use it five times. Combat Torque was already doing most of my HP at one plus attack. Yeah, Combat Torque also does one. Also has 100 power. And this is two plus uh, attack. So I think I need to swap Starco. You probably do. Do you have anything that you think can take that hit? I mean, Hacks Edge, again, it's not going to use high horsepower. Right. So, Hacks Edge I'd for say... sure is a safe swap, but if it uses high horsepower, Hacks Edge is dead. Right. Swabita is tanky, but not tanky enough, I don't think. If I can get a car up, I mean, you, up. Can, <laughs> you can get in there and hit it with a moon blast. That's a special attack, so that will. If I can some... live long enough to do so. Right. Because its I... speed is really high. What's uh, Suavita's speed? I mean, it's probably not going to make much of a difference, but... It's at plus three in the speed department. It doesn't right. matter at this point. <laughs> yeah. I... I would say go Suavita. Go... go... Go for Suavita, try to get a Moon Blast off. Because again, that's a special type move. Can I swap and... in Suavita? Yeah. Actually, okay, no, here's my game plan. We swap in uh -huh. Pack Sedge mm -hmm. to predict. I mean, Spin Out would still do a lot if it a used lot. that. But because I'm Fire type, I think I could take that. I uh, think. Yeah. I think the smart play here is to go and predict, hopefully, Combat Torque. Mm -hmm. Then, swap to Swabita to predict high horsepower. So that we get a free right. turn off. Does that make sense? Yeah. I think that's the- I think that's the smartest play. It's risky, but I think that's the smartest play. <laughs> yeah. The other thing is... Uh, spin out lowers the speed by two stages. That's fine. That's fine. Yeah. Our speed doesn't matter at this point. It lowers its own speed by two stages, so oh, it lose okay. some of its... Then that yeah. could actually be to our benefit. Yeah, so okay. if it uses spin out... I mean, go ahead and bait it with Haxid if you... If you think we it's, got it's it. It's risky, but I think that's the best play. Right. Come on, use combat torch. Let's fucking go! Okay, it doesn't affect me. Now it's going to try nice. and use high horsepower, I would imagine. So we're gonna swap to Swabita. <laughs> I'm trying to use my big brain. I'm trying to use my big brain right now, folks. Just pivoting. Oh no! Moves. Why do that when you can do it yet another shift here? Oh. <laughs> oh no. Well. We're fucking dead. Just, I, I, I think this is the it, run. I think this is the fucking it, run. I think I'm it, gone. Give it, a, give it a try. Moon blasted. Oh, swap it up! Swapita! Oh. Let's go, got Swapita! The, got the defense for days. Holy shit! Nuked it! Oh, oh my god, Love Swapita! It. Love to see it. I thought fucking plus four attack. 
Oh, my big brain strats worked. We only lost Jiggler. Which I wouldn't have liked to you lose anyone, but it is what it is. Yeah, it happens. IQ of an Alakazam, thank you. Thank you. God bless. <laughs> I'm not religious, but God bless. Oh, fuck, I accidentally moved my capture card and it freaked out. Give me a sec. Or Jiggler. May well, Jiggler we had a, we rest had a, in peace. A, a, a streak of three, I think it was. I three think it was four. more than that. I think it was like four. <sighs> so we didn't lose any of the fairy. We didn't lose any to the uh, dragon titan. We didn't lose any to Grusha. And I don't think we lost any to the psychic gym either. Yeah. All right. Holy shit. Now we get to build the Elite Four team. Oh, fuck me. I was terrified that entire time. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I feel nervous still, even though it's over. The adrenaline rush. Yeah, no, Aimless was fine. <laughs> uh, it went, yeah. My battle went just fine. I... The only issue I ran into was, uh... I had to swap Hatene out at the Starmobile because Steel-type moves versus a Fairy-type. Not good. Uh... But other than that, Everything went fine. Holy shit. I didn't have to bring out any of the reserves. We just whooped up. dialogue from Team Star of like please don't take away my greatest treasure like oh mm -hmm. these guys they're my greatest treasure I just think that's really cute yeah I did it yay <laughs> Uh... Oh, can make one. Very cool. I can also make a close combat. Apple, I just got this game, finally. You just got... Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, or a different kid? Gonna do a Knights and Dragons team. Ooh! I like that. Knights and- so, like- Oh my god! Cassopio is the big boss! Oh, who would've fucking guessed it? Oh, jeez! No, no! Oh, jeez. Oh, nuts. Oh, fuck. Oh my god. Who, who knew? Oh gosh, golly. Who'd have thunk it? What an unexpected twist. What a twimst. <laughs> a twimst. <laughs> uh. 
Oh man. I'm I'm gonna feel sad drawing Jiggler. Mm. Which for those who don't know, uh, a thing I do in all my Nuzlocke everything is whenever we lose Pokemon, I draw them. And specifically when doing Soul Links, I draw uh, fusions of the two Pokemon together. They oh, yeah, especially... usually end up really bad. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, spe You're gonna have to fuse a, uh, what was it, a Wigglytuff and a Pelipper? Yeah, that's gonna be... That's gonna be fun. And slam. <laughs> Cupid, I imagine it was a typo, but the fact that you're typing that as a joke and then misspelled spoiler as spopopular. Popiler. <laughs> it's just really funny to me. That's great. Uh. Crunch. I'm sorry, Dang Oh, <laughs> Dragon Claw. Oh, no, no Dragon. Okay, cool. I already taught it to you. I'm sorry, buddy. Make an extra dragon claw. Didn't notice the spelling mistake. It's fine. It added to the bit. You should have just rolled with it. You should have been like, you know what? I absolutely that was that was comedic intent, one hundred percent. Yeah. And I would have been like, yeah, it was. Uh, wait, can I get leech seed? Can I make leech seed? Can you make leech seed? I have a need. Okay. We have leech. team planning to do. Yes, we do. We have team planning and a bit of grinding to do. Yes, but first let's plan out what our team is. I'm seeing I'm gonna put like well obviously everyone but one, but just everyone on the PC so we can look at them all together. Right. That's gonna be a thing from now on. It's a popular? It's a poipler. It's a popular papiller. Papiloper. <laughs> Bomb pipple. It's a poipler. I like that. <sighs> okay. So I feel like the Starkos are a given. Starko is the one that I kept in my party in this. Mm -hmm. Like, Starko has been with us for such a long time. I think it would be a disservice if we didn't take Starko. Very true. Um, uh, I feel like Hacks Edge would be good for both of us. Yes, Hacks Edge I would really like. Okay, let's... Uh, sorry. Pausing. No. Let's let's think yes. about the Elite Four. We got the Elite Four. I have them right here. Okay. We've got Dragon. We've got Ground. We got Steel. We got Flying. And then the champion is Variety. Yes. Uh. First up will be will be Ground. Uh -huh. So, they have, Rika has, <coughs> Whiskash, Camera Up, Don Fan, Doug Trio, Claude Sire. Okay. Second up is Steel Type, which I think we should both have a pretty easy time with. Yeah, no. Hacks Edge is gonna melt Poppy. 
Yeah. That small she child, was... she ain't gonna know what fucking hit her. Uh... What is your litter again? My litter is a Gengar. Gengar, okay. So perfectly That's solid. my... That's my fire type. Okay. Which would be helpful. Alright. Um... Yeah, the only thing I'd say we really have to worry about in her team might be the Tinkaton and possibly the Corviknight. Uh, Pikmin, you redeemed Compliment Me, which is a new redeem, uh, for those who aren't aware. It's literally where I will just compliment whoever redeems it. So, Pikmin, a compliment to you is that you're a really fantastic mod. Uh, both for myself and for Mousy. Like, you always are just really solidly on top of things, and, like, I can always count on you to even just notice, like, you know, say shit like, hey, this isn't the channel to be having this conversation in my Discord and stuff like that, and that's just really appreciated. Cupid also redeemed compliment me, and... Cupid, like, you're my fucking, you're my fucking, you're my fucking wifey. What, 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 what can I say about you that it, there isn't already, that hasn't already been said? Like, I, I adore you. You're lovely. You make me just very happy. And every time we talk, it's a genuine pleasure. Oh my god, guys, stop. We have team planning to do. Shooty also <laughs> redeemed compliment me and forced me to compliment myself. I'll compliment you, Shooty, first. Um, uh, Shooty, you are one of my oldest mods and without a doubt one of the most dedicated. Uh, like, the fact that you... Oldest even though, in two ways. Yeah, exactly. Um, <laughs> the fact that you... And I encourage you not to because please fucking rest. But the fact that you're constantly, like, in my streams, even if they're late as fuck for you, uh, just to, like, you know, make sure things are running smoothly and, uh, be just a general form of support is really, really sweet of you, and I really appreciate it. A compliment to myself is that, um, it seems like there's a slight, uh war between the two rooms that need staff at work over me uh which is just you know a big test on my abilities as an educator and that people people acknowledge that and that i'm really good at what i do And Cupid Redeem feed Lucky a treat. He's currently napping, but I will once he wakes up. Okay, that's all. Back to team build. Um. Ground steel flying. That's like a combination of bad things for fighting types. Yeah. Isn't it? Um. I'm thinking more about litter on my end, and litter, um, bad stats. If... No, no, no. Litter stats are fine. If I can change litter's ability to levitate instead of cursed body, litter actually would be really solid against Rika. Do you, do you have a way to do that? I know there is, is ways to do that. I don't Let's know how see. easy they are, is the problem. Change. Come on, ability. May notice an item that is ca called the ability capsule. Uh. How do you get the ability capsule? I'm concerned. Or the ability patch, ability capsule, whatever. Go away. Uh... Uh, I know you can get ability patches post-game, but... Yes. Can you get it 
To get an ability patch, players must participate in six star terror raids. Fuck. Which you have to complete all three main storylines of the game and enter the post game. Fuck. So unfortunately, we're not there yet. Shit. Go away, Ari. We don't need your stat blocks anymore. Well, I mean, Boy. litter. Litter will just be solid in general, like genuinely. Oh solid yeah. Fucking... A, a Gengar is never very bad. Nice. A Gengar yeah. is never bad. Um. Yeah. What does Curse Body do? It just makes it so whatever move they use might be disabled. Oh, okay. Like Interesting. there's a small chance of it being disabled. That, that's actually pretty good. Yeah. Um What 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 is all on Gita's team? She's got Gita? Lamora. She's got Espathra? Espathra. Okay. This will go be good against Espathra. Mm-hmm. She's got a go goat. Uh-huh. Which you've got Hack's Edge, you'll be fine. Uh -huh. Uh He's got a Veluza, Water Psychic. Okay, also good. Uh Avalug, Ice. Mm -hmm. King Ambit, Dark Steel. God, Hack's Edge really well, gonna fuck up half of her team, huh? Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're gonna have an easy time with that Hack's Edge. Well, if for nothing else, the fact that Litter has Toxic Spikes will definitely come in handy. Even if I just right. have Litter go out there, set up, and then swap. Mm -hmm. Like, that's fine. Ow, I bit my tongue. Ouch. I'm yeah, upset. Toss some Toxic Spikes. Oh. Did you bite your tongue? I did bite my tongue. Uh. Okay. It's fine. Everything's fine. I'm not crying. Um... Only on the inside. Uh. Oh. But yeah, I I think I think litter's fine. Um. Do you have one? I'm I'm looking at what I would like. Um. I've got... Ground makes me a little... Like, Rika makes me a little nervous. But I do Ground think... Ground is always scary. I do think Starko will be able to take a lot of it. Because just... Oh, yeah. He won't be able to get hit by ground moves. Yeah. The only two we'd have to worry about are Doug Trio and Donphan. Which... Who... I who think... know rock-type moves. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, Whiskash does no blizzard. Okay, well, that's fine. I can, I can, I, I think just through general, like, careful swapping, I'll, I'll be able to get mm -hmm. through Rika. Um, Poppy Perfect. is nothing with Hack's Edge. Uh, mm -hmm. flying. I should be fine. Uh, the fly, yeah, he's got a Tropius, Oricorio, mm -hmm. uh, so electric flying. Yeah. Uh, Altaria, Staraptor, and Flamigo. Hatene so he... or Luxalil might be wow. kind of kinda nice. Hatene? I'm down with Hatene. Hatene would also give me a fairy type. Which would it would give against, me a fairy type as well. Against dragon. Mm -hmm. I can't believe I'm I don't... saying we should use a Dedene for the fucking Elite Four, but you know what? <laughs> I don't I don't have that I don't have a fairy type issue because Hacks Edge for me is has a fairy terra type. So mm -hmm. I can just turn right. I can just go Terra in that fight. That's so fucking and... broken. 
your your whip dragon type with a fairy Terra. That's yeah, just fucked whip up. up on all of them. <laughs> yeah, it really is, but it's great. Um, uh, the only thing I have to work out, look out for are his Dragalgy and Backscalibur. Yeah, no, Hatene, I think, Hatene would be pretty solid. Um, I mean, Dedene itself isn't, like, doesn't have the best stats, but it is fast. Mm -hmm. And it does have right. solid special attack with all the fucking shit I pumped into it. So you know what? My... And it's a fairy mine Terra, like... so... Yeah, so is mine. That's just uh... nice. Everything about Hatterene is good. Except for its speed. It's slow as hell. Fair. Um... Uh... But Antis great anticipation, a useless move. Yeah. A useless ability. Yeah. Um. Who else? Who else do we want on this? Did I do that? Crew? Um. Uh, if we want anything else for the flying types, <laughs> Booper might be good. Booper for me is just pure fucking uh, psychic, but does have power gen. So, Power Gem is pretty good. Yeah, we, I, I'm just saying, it's flying types are weak to Psychic, if I'm not mistaken. No, they're not. I was incorrect. Never mind. Um. <laughs> yeah, Pikmin, that's true. Arboliva would be good for ground. Um, Who is which? Which one is small that? Mantis. That's okay. That's a grass type for me too. So that's just solid ground coverage for us both. Right. It's got an electric. It's got an electric terror type too. <laughs> that's kind of uh, funny considering. Um, yeah. Oh yeah. Is fighting good against ground? Mm, no, I think the opposite actually oh no it's just it doesn't oh, neutral doesn't. what about ice ice is great against ground super effect because we do also have crab apple yes who is for me a flapple have you tried punching the earth it depends on what part of earth we're punching if we're punching dirt like just loose dirt or sand, then yeah, that sand. shit's easy. I could pound some sand. <laughs> Cause crab apple, like again, crabominal doesn't have the best stats, but but it's still it's still an ice type. It's not awful. Yeah. Also, it just looks silly. Drake the Earth. Um. So, there is also Swabita, who would Swabita. be another flying type for me, mm -hmm. but is Psychic just Aquaman. really solid. Yeah. Like, Swabita is just good. Oh, Swabita also has a ground Terra. Uh, oh yeah, Swabita's got pretty great stats across the board on my end. Uh, super high special defense. Yeah, when, Decently fast. Why the fuck was I trying to use Grumpig as a tank when fucking Swabita is here? Does Swabita have insanely higher HP? Uh, defense. Just 
defense. really good defense. Oh. And also cotton de- guard. So if I can get that off, that just like raises its defense by like two stages right off the fucking bat. Right. <laughs> I'm just I'm peeking at your stream from my phone just to see their stats. Uh, yeah, they look pretty balanced. Barely well balanced. And also, like, you know, while we have the fairy type, having a dragon type up against other dragons, a dragon type that also has Moonblast up against other dragons wouldn't be bad. And especially because your oh, yeah. Terra is a poison Terra. Okay, yeah. So it's easy help. to just make her, like, I mean, she'd still get hit by dragon moves, but it wouldn't be nearly as bad. No, not at all. So I'm, I kind of want to swap Vita. The all, yeah, I'm, I'm down with that. The okay. only thing that I would worry about for his team. Okay, yeah, uh, the Haxorus has Iron Head. Yes, and then there's also. Um... Surprisingly enough, his Baxcalibur only knows three moves, but all of the rest of his Pokemon know four. That's so weird. Why is Pokemon design? Um. Okay, so we're still missing one Pokemon. Right. From a potential uh, team. What? What was Ponzel? Ponzel for me is a Ponyard, so it would be a Bishop. Oh, okay. That's just a Buizel for me. Um, so, Float Soul. What else do we have to, like, account for? I don't know. I... Nothing else I can really think of with the Elite Four. Right. Like... And we don't have to deal with any other fights immediately after, as far as I know. What typing is fucking Lamora? It's like rock poison rock, or something, right? Yeah, it's rock poison. You got it right. What it will tear typing. it into rock. What a weird typing. Um. It's meant to be a weird Pokemon. Yeah, that's fair. I don't really have a but good also, counter to that, but. Yeah, it knows Terra Blast, Sludge Wave, Earth Power, and Dazzling Gleam. So it's uh, it's got a lot of attacks. Almost I mean, all of her three out of her yeah, three out of her six know a fairy type move. The go goat knows play rough. Again, <laughs> small antis wouldn't be bad. Small antis? I'm down again. I uh, yeah, I'm down having a grass type in there. Small Isis for me is one of those, uh... Let's see, what's your stats? <laughs> yeah, definitely a glass cannon. But they just need to be leveled up a bit. I believe, uh... If I can bump its... Uh... HP and special attack... I know when I ran Arboliva in the VTuber Pokemon League, my Arboliva was a fucking bitch. And just like, between Leech Seed and Leftovers and the Seed Sower ability, it was gaining health constantly. Oh yes, I was thinking about that. that that's such a... <laughs> it's such a cheap strategy. You just Leech Seed, Leftovers, Seed Sower, Giga Drain. Just nothing but healing. Yep. Yeah, I need to get Giga Drain on this one, too. You might be able to make one. Probably. But I'm, I'm happy with the team of Starco, Hacks Edge, Litter, Hatene, Swabita, Smallantis. Yeah, I'm liking that. Alright. The only, the only issue I see for me is half of my team is slow as fuck. That's fair. Like, it's... Hack Sedge is the fastest at 135. Uh, and we got Hatene over here with 48 speed. 
Hatene, uh, Spolantis, and Starko all have double digit speed. But I don't think that'll be much of an issue. Yeah, I know we have to take on Cassiopeia eventually, uh, Pikmin, but not currently. Oh yeah, we have to take on Cassiopeia, we have to take on Arvin, we'll have to take on Clavel. We're, we're taking on everything, we're, we're nuzlocking, we're doing everything. I've gotta make your hat yeah. smaller that I gave you, because I need to be able to see the screen. I have to be able to see what they're... Well, I'm, I'm able to, like... Giga Drain is a TM I got. I just, I'm, I'm missing what... Oh, I need, like, one, one more the... fucking Skiddo leaf. Go find yourself a Skiddo. Also, Skiddo. good luck. On AI professors. Where would I find a Skiddo? Where the fuck do you even find Skiddo? I need a Skiddo leaf. That's it. A single one. A single a crumb of, skittle leaf. A, cr a crumb of leaf. A crumb of skittle leaf. They are around. Thanks, Pikmin! How very specific of you. Insightful. Any other wisdom to share? I just- I need a skittle. That's it. Just one. What areas do we find? 23! What areas do we find Skiddo in this game? Uh. Grass. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Thanks. You're just as helpful <laughs> as Pikmin was. Really appreciate your guys' infinite wisdom. I'm like a Pokedex. Oh yeah, you could just check where they are in the Pokedex, I think. <sighs> Alright, time to hit up this... Jeez, that battle was rough, though. I'm just glad we managed to get out of the area with them. Because I was trying right. to freak I was... out thinking that we were going to lose, like, everything. I was starting to get terrified after the fourth gear shift. Yeah. I was like, oh god. Oh god. We're fucked. She's setting it up. She's setting it up. I was like, this, this like, is going to be a white. This... It's like Winona setting up the sword stances all over again. Ooh, an horror sphere. I wonder if Miss Mish can do that. We found South oh. Province Area 1, Area 2, Area 3, Area 4, and Area 5. So everywhere in the South Province. Okay. There you go. Uh, how does this sound like for a sandwich? Fido bread, Nacky salt, salt and salt. Don't you dare disrespect my small looks like that. They are precious beans. They are the best Pokemon. Next to Wheel. That a science sounds tasty. Yeah. I mean, maybe not green small. I I personally prefer some black small. But you know. Though I've never actually had green olives. Really? Yeah. I've always like kind of been afraid of what they taste like. I always felt like they would taste. Vinegary, considering. Okay, we needed a veggie, then use fucking skull villain pepper. Uh, there you go, yeah. Don't mess with me with small lives. I love how I love <laughs> small live and Waylord, two of my favorite Pokemon of all time, for the exact opposite reasons. Of Waylord, I love cuz big. 
And small of my love calls small. Small anxiety, big don't give a fuck. Yeah, basically. Big boy gives no fucks. Small lad gives too many fucks. Ooh, rock slide. That's a good TM. Okay. Let's look around. So oh. Let me see if I can teach that to somebody. Because if I have a rock move for Larry's flying types, that will be very helpful. Y'all see any skiddo ring? Oh, I see a group of small lives. Hey guys, you're the best, you know that? What color is small is shiny? And if anyone tells me it's not black, I'm gonna be pissed. Uh, let's find out. <laughs> oh my god, it, it kinda is. Okay. So small it has an olive on its head, yeah? Uh-huh. It's it's a black olive for the shiny one. See, that that's that's acceptable. Yeah. Smash or pass, mm -hmm. Waylord? Fucking smash! Have you seen the Tinder Skitty comics? The what? The Tinder Skitty comics. Are you not familiar with Tinder Skitty? I am not. I am not familiar. What is this? Oh my god. Okay, Tinder hang on. <laughs> let me let me finish Web this terror raid and I'm gonna send you an entire fucking No, I just oh, looked it up. Is... I'm on their this I'm is... on their webtoon right now. This is a fucking steal. Uh Yeah, I can see it. It's smash. But nice. It was a comic that the the creator made from the fucking joke of Skitty and Waylord being in the same egg group. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's right. So, you know, people were making jokes for a bit of like, ah, you can fuck a Skitty and a Waylord together. And technically that's that's allowed. So he created Tinder Skitty. Large man. And it got, Gosh, it got this pretty reminds... popular. I can see why. No, the art style is great. Very cute. If anyone hasn't seen Tinder Skitty. <laughs> I'll be perfectly honest, given the subject matter of Smash, Smash or Pass, when you said Tinder Skitty, I immediately thought it was some sort of erotic, like, R34 oh, no, no, no. Uh, comic. I mean, I, I happily look at that too, but... No, it's just, it's, it's genuinely really cute. Oh, some comics. Oh, Skitty a way of working together. And sometimes there's other Pokemon drawn in pretty attractive ways. Fucking die person. There are many Pokemon that are drawn in attractive ways. Anyways, um, <laughs> look, I uh, did that my me. I... Pokemon Smash or Pass already. Right. I still have to do that at some point. I need to do, uh, uh Gen 9. Really good. I just go through like a site that's got a Pokedex and just say whether or not. Yeah, basically. Yeah. Should have done it during the Duck of That would have been fun. Smash. 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 Oh, but that, uh. 
that reminds me, I was seeing something and kind of talking to my partner about it, uh -huh. but Nekos and things like that, like bunny-eared anime characters and things like that. I've always imagined, like, that's just like diet furry stuff, right? Yeah, basically. Would you agree? Yeah. yeah. Furry light. Yeah, shit in a similar vein is what eventually made me realize that I was a huge scary. Oh, yeah. I mean, I was. <laughs> it took me getting into the uh, My Little Pony series for me to realize oh shit, I kind of like furry stuff. Yeah. Yeah, no, it was uh, a lot of denial, and then Spyro Reignited came out, and I was like, hmm. Hmm. I don't think I can deny this any longer. <laughs> I don't think I can look at half of these dragons and not immediately feel aroused. Yeah. <laughs> Albeit, there are some that I was like, hmm, pass. Oh, Mostly, yeah, like, you the know, older, I've, done, one. I've done a tier list. Oh, of the sp like the Spyro dragons. Yeah. And which nice. ones I most want to fuck compared to least want to fuck. Awesome. Can we have some ethically extracted small olive oil on the sandwich? Are the small olives consenting? I'm assuming that's what they meant by ethically extracted. I need Where kick does... then to answer the question. Yes. Then that's now I'm. Now I'm curious about how you extract small of oil. What need... is small of oil? I just need one skittle. Please. They sweat it? Okay. Small of sweat. So what, they just run on a treadmill for a while and just <laughs> you collect the drippings? Small of drippings. Uh, <laughs> I don't like that. I was, hoping, I was hoping for that reaction. Where am I going? I'm kind of just running around aimlessly right now. Hey. I was gonna say, hey, that's that's kind of fitting. I should be going to doing some raids because we're gonna need some levels. Yeah. Uh, where the fuck are Skiddo? Seriously. Uh, check around Artisan. That's kind of where I am right now. I've seen a couple. I just, I need to fight one. That's it. That's all I need. I'll fucking hop it. Did it fool you again? No. No, it's, I just, I fell off a cliff and accidentally ran into a hobbit. Um. Oh my god, and another hobbit. Oh, it's actually canon that they sweat oil. Alright. You know what? I spared your friend. I'm not gonna spare you. Once was fine. Murder. Twice? No. Hi, Captain. Fight me once, shame on you. Fight me twice, die. say hi in chat, does it count? <laughs> uh, no, but it would be funny. Okay, so sandwich. It's Fido bread, lechon cam, knackley salt, small olive oil, and cut up scoville heads. Also, Pikmin now said hi. Hi, Pikmin. It's a shame how many of you have massacred. Murder? Guys, the captain said the most fucked up thing to me the other day. 
no. how he wouldn't date an undead. That was literally this okay. morning. Okay. Was that this morning? That I thought it was morning. yesterday. No, it was this Ugh, I have no concept of time. That's... Okay, it depends on the undead. But he's a skeleton. I said, I'm not ready to date an undead. And here's the thing, I may be a I know exactly what us motherfuckers are like. I'm just saying, I would date any and all other goblins. Big goblin here. It also, it depends on the type of undead. But what types like, of undead of, would you not fuck with? Probably, honestly, probably, maybe a zombie. The smell would get to be a bit much after a while. Like, yeah, you can have, like, air fresheners and things like that, but you can't use... Cupid, corpse. you're literally my wife. What, why are you saying it? Like, any goblin, ooh, ooh. We're literally any married. Goblin? Like, come on. Any goblin, maybe? Cupid, you and I have been married the longer than the captain and I have been together. Like, if anything, we were here first. Yeah, a vampire yeah. would also probably just take you for granted. Uh, I don't know. I did not think I was as big into vampires until I started playing Baldur's Gate. Oh, Astarian? Yeah. And I'm like, oh, I... Astarians make igniting things in me that I didn't really know I was that into. I'll, I, I, I'll be honest uh -huh. in saying that in me and my partner's first playthrough, we're both playing clerics. Uh -huh. uh, my partner, not a fan of vampires. Uh -huh. The first interaction with Astaria, you know how it goes. The dagger, the knife, the, yeah, to the yeah. neck and whatnot. Uh, he was immediately like, you know what? No. So we killed him. Damn! Yeah, that was... Uh, on my playthroughs, I'm keeping him alive. But... Yeah, we missed an entire character storyline. I'm still upset that on my first playthrough I accidentally missed Carlock. Because I Aww. just, like, I, I did something and locked myself out of getting her. Mmm. Yeah. The teddy bear. And it was, like, unintentional. I get that. I definitely like at one point to go about exposing Kaga. I did that, um, on my, uh, well, on the run that I'm streaming as Appleseed. Ooh. Because I didn't realize that was something you could do until chat was like, hey, because I was talking about, like, how I really want her to die, but I, did, I don't want to, like, kill the entire druid group. Right. And they were like, hey, you know you could just expose her. And I was like, what? Exploring me? I could do what now? <gasps> I found a skiddo. Oh, he deserved it. Oh, <laughs> come on. Come on, babe. My partner comes into my chat just like, he deserved it. Asterion's the best. I, I will admit he, came, he comes on a bit strong. He's, uh, he's very, no, no, no funny business right out of the gate. But... I, there, I've heard the voice clip. I don't know the context because I haven't played that far into the game. But I, mm -hmm. I have spoiled myself in a lot of romance, um, romance regards. Mm -hmm. And there is one specific voice clip that I've heard with Asterion that just like the delivery of it and what exactly he says i'm not gonna say it because i don't want people to be spoiled but it is so like just genuine and i won't say exactly what it is but it's basically to the effect of like um he acknowledges that 
at the beginning it was purely just to basically gain gain your survive trust mm -hmm. <laughs> Shut up. and to survive um yeah and to just survive and make sure that you know he had someone who he mm -hmm. could rely on and mm -hmm. then it's like you know develop genuine emotions along the way Right. And the delivery of it is so good, and it's just like, oh, my heart. The whole charlatan gets lost in the act sort of thing. Yeah! Which I fucking, I, I know it's a trope, but I love it. Okay. Yeah, it's fun. I, I, I know almost everything about, like, what he's been through, so. Yeah. I spoiled that for myself because I don't really care much about spoilers <sighs> for characters. No, I, I've but actually I been doing a way better job than I expected at not spoiling shit for myself. Mm-hmm. He was the only character I was really curious about. Like, I haven't looked at any of the other ones. Yeah. Except for Karlak. No, Cupid, that's one of my favorite things. You kick him in the balls, and he just leaves the party. You can kick him, and he... All right. <laughs> You can kick him in the balls in one scene, and he'll just leave the party. He'll be like, you know what? Just... Nope. Our <laughs> initial <leave>. interaction. <laughs> and it's really funny. Our initial inter... You can also just not have him join the party. Yeah. That's all. That's also an option that we were like, yeah, we'll, we'll just say we're going to go our own way. And he was like, no, I want to kill him. You put a knife to my neck. I want to kill him. It's fucked. All right. All right, dude. I'll... I'll give you this one. I'll give you Hopefully this one. You'll, you'll kill my vampire daddy like that. Hey, at least it wasn't the hot tiefling mommy. Yeah, that's true. I'm fully convinced, and I've talked about it in lengths on stream, but I'm fully convinced if people don't like oh, Harlock, they don't have a soul. Yeah, I... I do honestly kind of want to see what happens when you go, go full will. I like, want to see what happens too, but I just, I couldn't. I can't bring myself to do it. I can't. It's just, it's the same way I am with, uh, and I made a tweet about this before. I can never bring, I've, I've like do, I want to do an evil playthrough. Uh -huh. I don't think I can bring myself to in some cases because I don't like coming off as the mean one. Yeah. I don't like being mean. Doesn't feel good. Captain I'll be and I, snarky. Captain and I the other day were going to start our Dark Urge playthrough. Mm -hmm. But I guess probably something to do with the writing. You mm -hmm. can't have two Dark Urge characters at the same time. That's understandable, yeah. So it, it was like, okay, well, we don't really want one of us to just do Dark Urge and the other to, like, not that's no fun. Right. But I'm I imagine whenever we do I do Dark Garage there will be certain decisions that I'm just like I can't <laughs> Well you because you can fight the Dark Urge you can just not succumb to yes. it in some cases. Yeah no I've heard uh, everyone I know who has done it mostly the the lovely mythical menagerie folks who are my my stream team for those who aren't aware mm -hmm. um like everyone's been telling me if whenever you do it you should do like two playthroughs mm -hmm. like a playthrough where you succumb and a playthrough where you fight it and i'm like i'm already doing like fucking 13 normal playthroughs right one for each class, just, and then... I'll be honest, I just like uh, making characters. Yeah, like, I'll, no. I'll, I'll, I'll not I... even start a campaign. I'll just get it into the sequence where I can just fiddle around with the character creator. I've... Because I just keep starting new playthroughs, the furthest I've gotten is, like, a little bit into the Underdark. Oh, jeez, you're not even in Act 2 yet. Yeah. 
So... Luckily, luckily, me and my partner have been able to keep uh, pretty focused and uh, make our way through a single a single run. Well, the captain and so I in... playthrough we're doing currently, where we just have a really, like, we've cultivated a very strong party. Mm-hmm. Of it's my war cleric, his berserker barbarian, uh, Asterian, who we gave the mobile feet to, who's just the fucking most brutal assassin rogue. Zooming. Zooming yeah, all over the place. And then Lazel, who's just a standard, like, champion. Or no, she's a battle master. And able to just kind of fill whatever niche we need her to in that regard. If we need her to right. do range, she can do range. If we need her to do melee, she can do melee. Yeah. Me and uh, our partner, we're two clerics. I'm like a Tempest front of the line, fuck you up cleric. Yeah. He's the healing, you know, magic everywhere, slinging spells cleric. Uh, we got Gale, who's also dropping spells like a madman. Uh, but he's also an abjuration wizard. Oh, okay. So, we get a lot of, uh, get a lot of defense and, like, health from that. Mm. And you can just counterspell shit out like crazy. And it gives him more buffs. Uh, and we have Karlak, who I made a, a berser also a Berserker Barbarian, <laughs> to just mess stuff up. Uh, and it's been fun. I've. Yeah, I we're... especially love Tempest Cleric because of the fact that you can just max out your damage on any thunder and lightning. Yeah, no, it's super attack. fun. Just I want to do a Tempest people. Cleric. Um, it's like, oh, call lightning upcast to level six. Yeah, we're gonna make that do max damage. Yeah, we're the the captain and I are trying to like to the best of our ability roleplay our characters as well. Mm -hmm. So it's like, you know, we're making decisions in game that we think our characters would make. So, unfortunately, in this playthrough we did not get Carlock. Uh, because I as Killed my the impulsive uh, dragonborn you know Kaga started getting snooty with me, and I was like, okay, let's end her life. Black. <laughs> Basically. Excuse you. She also killed a kid. Yeah, oh, you... <laughs> like, okay, yep. Yeah, no, that was the first time I hadn't... You didn't stop her from killing the child? Yeah. Oh. Which, uh... Well, because I didn't feel like my character would... Like, she would just kind of okay. watch it play out. Mm -hmm. And then it was like, oh! Oh! Oh, no. Oh, you're, you're, you're killing children, I see. Okay. Yeah, this, like, this it was, a uh, let's... I don't remember what the dialogue option was, but... Yeah, I did, I did whatever was the most fitting, and then it was like, oh, yeah, okay, no, you're, you're just kind of a bitch. So, yeah, you can die now. Body slam. How long do we want to go, by the way? It's already I'm the two hours. I'm gonna say that is up to you. Um, because I know it's later for you than it is for me. I wouldn't mind ending somewhat soon, just because I've got shit I want to do. You got it. We can go ahead and call it after uh, we're done with whatever terror raids we're in. Yeah, I was gonna do this terror raid and then call it. I'm just finishing up a four-star slagu. Also, friends, I have on the agenda tomorrow that we're playing Baldur's Gate. I might change that. Uh, we might actually do Koa tomorrow and then do... Um... Baldur's Gate on Saturday because I'm actually going to be moving Saturday stream to later in the evening. And I think I, 
I want to try and finish up Koa tomorrow if I can. And Saturday I just want to share with you know, the good vibes. And while I really enjoy Koa, it's making me frustrated as fuck right now, so. Understandable. Ah, it's just fast, frustrated platforming. Oh yeah. I got... I, th I think I'm in the final world of Spyro right now. Oh hell yeah! Or at least Spyro 2. Uh... Which, which, uh... Now I'm just happy. Uh... Rifto's Rage. Yes, but which, which so... world? I see. Oh, Winter. Okay, oh, yeah, the Winter Tundra is the final a... one. Okay, I was like... So they're going by seasons. There better not be a fourth world because this is really stretching it thin. Yeah, it's, and... it is very weird though that it's like summer, forest, autumn plains, and then winter tundra, and there's not a spring one. Right. Like, and I think uh, if they I just, just I don't know, split autumn plains into two, that would have been fine. Yeah. All I gotta do now is just backtrack, collect a bunch of orbs, and then beat the... beat Ripto. Are you 100%ing the games? I feel like I've asked you that, but... No, I'm not, because this is my first time I've ever played them. That's fair, that's fair. Uh... So I just, again, I gotta backtrack, collect a bunch of orbs, because I kinda skipped them. So that I can get into the boss room. Okay. I have defeated but... my raid. As of I. Now, who is online? Two raid. Oh, indeed. Ha ha ha. Um, let's see. Why do I follow oh. so many people? It gets very confusing. I see Sprig. Aaron Man Wookie. Uh, Jim, Thorn, Gabby, Kiroiha. Oh, is Kiro streaming? Kiro is. Streaming. Kiro is streaming. Let's read Kiro. Monster Hunter? Looks like Monster Hunter. Yeah. Oh, Monster Hunter stories. Oh, I love Monster Hunter stories. I have not played that. The only ones I've played are Worlds and Rise. Ah, uh, he's doing a stream with his partner, too. Yeah, let's go invade that. That'd be cute as fuck. Sick. Let's close all of these Pokemon tabs. Okay, friends. Thank you for joining. I hope you had a fun time. We're gonna send some love over to Kiro, who is currently playing some Monster Hunter stories, too, with Tack Wolfen. Uh, yeah. Like I said, tomorrow we might be doing Koa instead. I'm still making my mind up on that. Um, I don't think we'll be doing Baldur's Gate, though. If we are doing something else, I think it might just be something a bit, uh, something that isn't Baldur's Gate. Especially because it sounds like I'm going to be doing a big, long Baldur's Gate stream on Monday. So, Baldur's Gate will happen, just probably not tomorrow. Yeah. But anyways. As for me, yeah, tomorrow we've got F FPS Friday. We've made our way, we're making our way through Halo 2 Anniversary. Uh, my third favorite Halo game. And after that one, we're going to be doing Halo 3 ODST, which is my second favorite. Hell yeah. But we still have a ways to go in this one. We're like mission five out of 15. So we're making good progress. For the most part, I've been able to finish these games in like three to four streams each. Because they're not that intense. Uh, other than that, keep an eye out. Nothing on Saturday or Sunday because I'm going to one of my old D&D friends' uh, birthday parties on Sunday. And I just kind of want to take Saturday off because I'm also baking cookies for that. Uh, but stay tuned. I'll have a schedule up probably Sunday or Monday, and we'll see if we can do another one of these next week. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, 
not streaming tomorrow, or and streaming tomorrow, just probably not Baldur's Gate. Um, and then, uh, something in the evening Saturday, maybe Baldur's Gate. Um, and then, Baldur's Gate, man. Uh, Moem on Sunday, and big long Baldur's Gate stream Monday. Because I'm off Monday, yeah. so we're gonna take advantage of that and do a big stream. Yeah, I'm probably taking a break from my Pokemon Black 2 Nuzlocke because it's just not going the way I want and it's kind of been a slog getting through it. That's fair. Uh, so we're going to focus on the randomizer, which is more fun. Okay. The I'm going to randomize Nuz I'm yeah. sorry to cut you Start off. Raid. My, my raid timer's counting down and I already can't split once. Yeah. Bye, sure. friends! Bye-bye. <laughs> Yes. Yeah.